The Ijo Youth Council is calling on Bialtsa, Delta, Undu and the federal government to prevail on Chevron to fulfill its promise of employing youth who had uh, successfully completed its uh, vocational training program six weeks ago. It also rejected what it calls the apartheid employment policy of the oil company against people of the host communities. International oil companies and host communities have never really enjoyed a warm relationship in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. This industry watches often attribute to a breach in the general memorandum of understanding signed by both parties. Members of the Ijo Youth Council are particularly unhappy with an international oil company over its refusal to employ youths six years after the completion of a vocational training program. Before they went for the training, Chevron asked them to resign from their previous places of work. You cannot ask somebody that you don't intend to employ from, to resign from their previous uh, place of work. And these persons have been um, passing through a lot of um, stress because of Chevron's refusal to employ them. And as I speak to you, they have also petitioned the National Assembly. Nothing has come out from the petition to the National Assembly. They have met traditional rulers, including the pair of Baramatu, who has also tried to reach out to Chevron, but nothing has been done. Eric Omari wants states and the federal government to intervene in the matter to forestall any breach of the peace in the areas of operation. We are using this opportunity to call on the government of Delta State, the government of Bayasa State, the government of um, Ondo State, where Chevron is operating, and also the federal government of Nigeria to intervene as a matter of urgency to employ the, the products of the Chevron Vocational Training Program, VTC 5 and 6, as a matter of urgency. These persons have been suffering for the five, six years. And if this is not done, these persons who are aggrieved may be forced to take uh, their destiny into their hands. And this may not be good for uh, the government of Nigeria and the states that I've mentioned earlier. The Pan Ijo Youth Body further advised the company to reverse its policy and employ youths from Ijo, Ishakiri, and Ilaje communities. Ovietemet George, TVC News, Wari, Delta State.